Hi, I'm Joseph Lanashki, photographic storyteller, educator, and the Aperture expert. Aperture is an amazing piece of software to help you organize and keep track of, improve, and ultimately share your photos with the rest of the world. And the changes that started with Aperture 3.3 only build on those capabilities. Aperture 3.3 was a significant enough of an upgrade to the original 3.0 that I decided to record this addendum video, highlighting what's new and different starting with versions 3.3 and 3.4. For complete Aperture training, you'll want to start with my other Aperture video, Work Like a Pro Photographer in Aperture 3. That video explains from the ground up how to organize, edit, and share your photos. This video talks about what's new since 3.3, including the interface changes, support for the new Retina Max, the amazingly fast camera preview browsing that reduces import times dramatically, naming convention changes, iPhoto library compatibility, which makes upgrading from iPhoto to Aperture easier than ever before, the new white balance and highlights and shadows tools, auto enhance, and the new shared photo stream feature that came with Aperture 3.4. Join me as we tour through the new features and look at what's changed. I've also included a handy guide for terminology changes between 3.0 and 3.3. Some confusing terms have been updated, and many of the new terms will be more familiar to those of you upgrading from iPhoto, all with the goal of making Aperture easier to understand and easier to use. Thank <laughs> you.